guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a day in the life i'm going to be vlogging today today is friday and i have a few things that i need to get done so i just finished taking a shower and blow drying my hair and getting myself and madison ready because around one o'clock we have to leave to go to ryan's school so today they have it's called i think um volunteer parent appreciation day and i wasn't planning on going to that but ryan yesterday asked me if i was going and that um his entire class made like thank you cards for me so i told him that i would go so that is from 1 30 to 2 30. um i probably won't stay the entire hour just because i'm pretty sure madison won't let me stay there for that long so i plan on getting there right at 1 30 staying there for like half an hour 30 minutes leaving at two o'clock and then i'm just gonna sign ryan out of school because i usually get to his carpool lane like around 2 20 anyways and there's no point in me leaving for 20 minutes and then coming back so i'll just check him out at two o'clock and then after that we have to go grocery shopping i don't have a lot of groceries to do just because i literally just went grocery shopping a few days ago but we do need, um, I feel like essentials. We need some more eggs, milk, some more fruit, stuff like that. So I'll go to the grocery store after I pick up Ryan from school or after I check him out. And then I think what else do we have to do today? Um, I have to edit a few videos. I have a collab going up on Monday. You would have already seen that. I will leave it down below, but I have to edit that collab video. And then I also have to finish editing um, my last vacation vlog which will probably be up before this day in the life vlog as well so i have a lot of editing to do today and then i don't have a lot of errands the grocery store is the only place i'll be going but just finished getting madison ready as well her hair let's see how long it stays up but can you see hi i did a little bun on top with that cute little bow but her buns never last and then her cute little you want to do an outfit of the day and she has a jean shirt on. If you guys watched my toddler haul, I got that from a secondhand store. It's Carter's brand. And then some black pants and those shoes I got from Crazy 8. They're like the sparkling ones. But that is her outfit. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit of the day because I haven't been doing them. I don't know when the last time was I did an outfit of the day. So I'll show you guys what I am wearing today. And yeah. Also guys, it was pouring this morning. Ryan's hair is probably looking crazy. His hair looks so cute this morning. And then, of course, right when we were leaving to bring him to school, it wasn't just drizzling or raining a little. It was like downpours, and he got soaking wet. So his hair doesn't look very cute anymore. But anyways, um, I'm going to show you guys really quickly my outfit of the day. And then, then I'm just going to do some things around the house before I have to leave. I have about probably an hour and a half before I have to head out. All right, you guys. This is my outfit that I'm wearing today. Super casual. The white jeans are from Walmart. I showed you guys in my recent Walmart try-on haul. I'll link that video down below. And then the sandals are also from Walmart. They are the Time and True brand. And then the top is just a basic tee from Target. And then my necklace is so old. I either bought it from Walmart or Target. It's just like a gold little necklace with a like clear little jewel at the end but that is my outfit I'm super comfortable and casual like i said i have to run to run school probably be there for like 30 minutes and then i have to go grocery shopping so and now madison she wants to look at herself in the mirror what are you doing is that you who is that is that maddie she's so pretty you're so pretty <laughs> no say yes no don't take the bow out all right guys, so I quickly want to do like a little unboxing for you guys. I'm super excited to unbox this. This was sent to me by the company called Thread Tank. Now, before this even starts, I just want to let you guys know this is not a sponsored video at all and I'm not getting paid to like unbox this or give you guys my review. This is my honest review. The company just emailed me, asked if I would like to receive two of their shirts in return. I just share it with you guys and let you know my thoughts on it. So that is what I'm doing. I received this about two days ago and I did take it out of like the um, mailing packaging just because it had my address on it, but I did not unbag it yet. And I'm super excited to open it, you guys. They had so many different options. I believe they are based out of California and they basically sell a bunch of different graphic tees. When I tell you the options are endless, there are so many different choices for you to choose from. I feel like everyone has to find at least one thing that they like from their site. 
They had so many different options. I had a hard time narrowing it down to two things, but I think I found two that I really like. And I'll probably try it on for you guys as well, just so you guys can see how it looks on. But I am going to unbag it. It was packaged in this really pretty like brown paper bag. I love when gifts are like wrapped and stuff like this. I just think it's so cute. So yeah, the sticker just says throw tank stores you can wear. So that's how the packaging looks like. So I'm gonna unbag it right now for you guys. Like I said, I have not opened this yet. And I'm so excited. And I had two, I was able to choose um, two. So the first one I chose, oh, it comes with a little card, it just says thank you. And a little bit about their company. And that's how the card looks. And then in the back, it says stories you can wear. They also gave me a promo code, I believe for 10% off if any of you guys are interested in checking them out. I will leave the promo code up here on the screen. I will also leave their website link and that promo code down in my description box for you guys to check out. And if you guys do decide to purchase anything from their site, I'm not gonna get any type of commission. I'm not getting any type of money out of this. So just let you guys know. But the first shirt I picked was like an army green color. I'm obsessed with that color. So this one, I got mine in um, a few sizes up. So this one I got in a medium. I got a size up just cause you guys know I like my shirts to be loose. And then the other one, I think I got two sizes up. So. This is the medium, it's like an army green color and it says motherhood. And then up top it says handle with care, diaper master, unbreakable, heart of a champion, 110% organic and then original design. So I just thought this was really cute and the material feels very soft. I'm feeling it right now. The material feels really soft and breathable. So I feel like I can wear this in the summer and in the spring. And like I said, I did get mine in a medium and I think it's so cute. They had so many different options. So this is the first one that I chose. And then the second one was one that's like kind of like off the shoulder. And this one is in gray. And I believe I got this one two sizes up because it's supposed to be like an off the shoulder one, but I wanted to make sure that it was off the shoulder. So instead of just going one size up, I did go two sizes up. So this is a large, I probably could have gotten just a medium. This looks pretty big, but it's okay. I'll like tuck it in or something, but it is gray. You guys know I love that Netflix show, um, Stranger Things. So this one says, in a world full of 10s, B and 11, and it's from the Netflix show. So I thought it was really cute. Material on this one is really great too, and it's stretchy. So that's how it looks on top because it's supposed to be like off the shoulder and it is long sleeve. So I will leave um, the exact names, like the links to what I got down below if you guys are interested in any of these. But I am gonna try it on now for you guys so you guys can see how it looks on. All right, you guys, so this is the first one, the long sleeve one. Oh, I just ran into the kids' carts. But like you see, it goes off the shoulder. I really love off the shoulders um, type shirts and stuff. But I'm back up a little so you guys can see. But the length is really good. Like I said, I did go two sizes up. I got a, a large and I actually like it. I like how it fits, like the loose feeling fit. And then that's how it looks in the back. Has a pretty good length on it. I like the length. I like how it feels. It's super comfortable. It's soft. It doesn't feel like stiff or anything. I like it. So this is how the first one looks. I cannot wait to wear it. I might end up wearing one of these shirts today. Um, I'm not sure, but this is how the first one is looking. All right, you guys, so this is the second shirt. This is the like army green motherhood shirt. Like I said, I did get this in a size medium. This is the length in the front and then the length in the back. The arms feel great. They're not like tight on my arms at all. It's another like stretchy um, shirt. And I really like the material on this. It is a thin material, but it's not like that cheap material where it's like see-through or you feel like it is like really bad quality. I feel like the quality is good. It's just a thin material in the sense where you're not going to like suffocate in spring or summer. I feel like I can wear this shirt in the summer and not suffocate because it is breathable. I would probably like tie a knot in the front or maybe even just tuck it in a little bit in the front, but I'm obsessed with both of these shirts and I'm so glad they sent me these. I'll probably end up going to the website and ordering some more because they had so many really cute ones that I couldn't pick from. So I think I'm gonna go on and order some for myself. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram because over there is where I will update you guys on um, like after I wash it, if it shrinks or if the ink fades on this. So make sure you are following me over on Instagram so you guys can see the update on these shirts. But so far, so good. I'm really loving them. 
might end up wearing one of these today but like i said i am going to leave um all the information down below i will leave the links to both the tops i got along with my promo code and their website so i just want to say thank you so much to thread tank for sending me these shirts i'm in love so that is how it looks so now i'm gonna get madison some lunch it is noon right now we have about like a little over an hour before we have to head out and go to ryan's school so i'm gonna make us some lunch really quickly and then clean up around the house and then i might vlog while we are at ryan's school so we'll see you guys in a little all right guys so i decided to leave this motherhood shirt on because i did have a green shirt on earlier i thought just keep this one on i was gonna wear the other one the off the shoulder shirt but I think I'm gonna wear this one today. So I'm gonna keep this on for the rest of the day. I'm now gonna get some lunch for me, Madison, like I mentioned, it is around 12. It is time for lunch time. It's probably why she is cranky. So I think, I don't know if I should do pasta or if I should do, I bought these, um, like, I think they're like called broccoli, like fries. They're made out of like broccoli and potatoes and they're so good. I'll show you guys in a minute if I can get it without spilling it because I don't have a clip on it. Um, but this is the fries they have it in cauliflower as well and it's really good madison likes it i like it so maybe i will make that or was like chicken nuggets i was also thinking about doing a pasta but that was a horrible angle i was going to do one of these um veggie pastas i have this one and then i have one like marinara one so i'm not sure which one i'm gonna do but i will do one of them so i will see you guys in a little i Feel like i have so much um cleaning to do even though i just filmed a cleaning video yesterday the house is already a mess with the kids but let's see what madison is doing madison's pretty upset right now are you hungry honey she's mad because i put her in the play area so i could film that little unbagging for you guys maddie are you mad your happy balloon sign or balloon you want to get out you want out okay you hungry you want some food we get some food all right, I'm gonna put some of that food in the air fryer. I'll probably do like chicken nuggets and those fries. And then I'll put the camera again a little later. All right guys, so I am currently obviously in the car driving to Ryan's school. It is 1.20 and his school is only like five minutes up the road. So I'm about to get there like any second. But I'm hoping Madison behaves because right before we left the house, she all of a sudden started getting really cranky and was crying. So I'm hoping she's good. Although I do only plan on staying up for 30 minutes. I don't plan on staying for the entire hour just because Madison, she just won't be able to handle the whole hour. And then I'm gonna check Ryan out of school. So he'll be leaving a little bit early. Technically he's only going to be missing probably about 25 minutes of school. So it's not a big deal. I just don't feel like coming back in 20 minutes because by the time I leave, it'll be like two. And then I usually have to get to this carpool lane around 2.20 because the lines get crazy. So no point in leaving for 20 minutes and then having to come right back to his school. So I don't mind him missing only 25 minutes of school. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then we will go grocery shopping. I'm sorry that you guys didn't see me there for that second, but that is the plan. Also guys, I want to ask you guys, um, do you guys have any suggestions for like car mounts to like film in the car? But for your phone so i record from my phone that's where i film from and when i record in the car this angle is horrible like i put it like right on top of like where the wheel is like where it tells you how fast you're going the speed limit whatever so anytime i turn the wheel it gets covered and then it falls over and stuff so if you guys have any good suggestions for car mounts for your car that's for phones let me know so i can get some because or get one because i'm tired why is this person on my ass seriously I hate when people tailgate anyways see if i can find parking here i'm gonna try to park in front of the school and not in carpool lane because i feel like people get in carpool lane like an hour before school even starts i'm gonna get a parking so i want to park like over here so I can get out. Okay, I found a parking. Let's park right here. Let's see if I parked crooked. I'm okay. So I parked in like the front of the school. Thankfully there was parking. There's only like literally two more parking spots. But I parked in front of the school just because um, if I park in the actual parking lot, I will be stuck in there forever. 
So parents literally get to school like an hour before school is dismissed. So there's already usually like a line. So I know by the time I leave at two o'clock, the line will already be starting and I will probably get stuck in that line. I don't want to. So I parked in front of the school. Thankfully, I found some parking. I'm about to text my friend. She's also going to be coming to this um, little get together. I don't know what it's called. I think it's called like parent appreciation, something like that. So she's also going to be here. So I have to text her. She said she was going to get here really early because she had to pick up her other daughter from preschool at one and then she was just going to come straight over here. So I told her I'm early to everything. So I would be here earlier as well. So I'm going to text her and see where she is. And then I guess we will head inside and then I might vlog just maybe like a minute or two from there. I don't think the kids will be in there. I know the kids made thank you cards because Ryan told me that his class made me a thank you card and guys funny thing he said I guess they were a teacher was asking um Brian like what do I like so the kids can have ideas of what to draw I guess and Ryan tells his class that his mom's favorite thing is soap and decorating the house so I guess from all the cleaning videos he thinks I am in love with soap so I think he, they said that they drew soap on my card or something but it's funny so I can't wait to see the cards um but yeah, so he said that my favorite thing was soap and to decorate, which he's right. I love to decorate the house. So I can't wait to see the cards. I love like little cards like that from kids. So I don't think the kids will be in there though. I think it's just like for parents and the kids will be in the classroom. So we will see. Anyways, I'm going to text my friend. It is 124. I want to see if she's here and then head in. So I'll see you guys in a little. Oh, yeah. And blackberries. What are you getting? Your favorite. Blackberries? Maddie, you want some snackies? What are you gonna write in your journal? Got some lemonade. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cover up class name, but all the cards are in there. Well, I don't want people knowing what's what class and what school my baby's at. And we got some. Hold on, Maddie. We got some snacks. We got muffin cookies. I'm really excited to try this carrot cookie. You ready? You want one of these? There's chickies. Yeah. You see the chickies? Good job. Oh, look, Maddie, you don't want to look at the chickies. You just want to eat. Okay. Mama likes the tulips. There's some there. No, there too. What? What do you say? I can't. Here, you want to look? This is one of the cards Ryan's class made me. It says Ryan's mom is best. So cute with the cat because apparently cats is my favorite. <laughs> Maddie, hold on. <laughs> These are so cute. None of them have names, but this one she says, "Thank you for being nice to us. You are nice to everyone. Um, you are so pretty." <laughs> I'm hanging this one up. Oh, I was like, "Who's <laughs> rubbing me on the back?" One of Ryan's classmates loves me like his mom. <laughs> so cute. There's so many in here, and I love them all. So I am now back in the car, and it is 2:12 to be exact. And I have uh, this little one. I have Ryan. Were you so excited? He was so excited when he came to the office. You got to leave a little early today. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. So Madison did um pretty good in there. She wasn't oh yeah. She wasn't too cranky, so that was good. Oh, one of his friends got checked out as well. Um but look, when I was leaving, something just bit me and it hurts so bad. And it's like so red and itchy. I'm trying not to itch it because it's getting the bump is getting bigger, but I don't know what it was like it bit me and now my whole face is red but anyways um the kids cards were so cute i showed you guys a little bit if you guys follow me on instagram i showed a lot on there as well it's all in like this little vanilla envelope i'll show you guys more of it once i get home if i can remember but i thought they were super cute you want to see them yeah all right here now i am going to go to the grocery store i gotta pick up a few groceries yeah, and then we will head back home oh, and then finish fine. cleaning up. So. Oh.
so I am now back home. Obviously, as you guys can see, um, I just finished putting all the groceries away. There really wasn't much. I think I had like three bags of groceries. But now I just finished filming a Dollar Tree haul. This is the aftermath of everything. It wasn't a like huge haul. I think it was only like two bags. But Robert got home from work early today or to him it's early because usually he doesn't get home till like seven or eight as of recently and it is around four o'clock he just got home but i put him on baby duty or kid duty i made him watch the kids while i film this video because anytime i try to film a video with the kids around there's always background noise or they interrupt me so i'm happy he was able to get home early so i could film this video if you guys missed it i think i'll upload it i don't know if that video will be up before this day in life or after but if it is up before this day in life, I will link it down below. If not, then definitely look out for it because it'll be up right after this day in the life. But I wanted to show you guys even on here really fast, these candles, even though you're going to see it in the hall. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen it there. I'm so obsessed with these candles, you guys. These are so pretty. Um, I got these from Dollar Tree, you guys. I feel like you can find these candles at like a high-end store that'll be like overpriced. I bought two of them. This one is Karma. It is a frankincense and vanilla scented one. And then I bought this one that says Zen. And this one is a white ginger and amber candle. So I didn't, I didn't really buy it for the scent because I know once I light it, you're not really gonna be able to smell it since it is only a dollar from Dollar Tree. I bought it more for just decoration, but I'm obsessed. I don't know if they have any other ones. These are the only two that I found at my Dollar Tree, but yeah. Now I have to put all that away and then finish laundry. I just put some more laundry in the wash and then I have to fold. I literally just did laundry like a day ago and I already have some more to do. But anyways, I don't know how much more I will vlog today just because Robert is home. So we'll probably go outside and do some yard work. He has to do yard work and I hate going out there, but I might go out there to help him. I don't know. We will see. But I will just hop on here really fast just because... I don't have the kids and I can talk to you guys peacefully. But also guys, I did mention it in my Dollar Tree haul about my DIYs. If you guys want me to bring it back. Um, I haven't done any like DIYs on my channel for a while just because I feel like it really wasn't getting a lot of views. And I felt like not a lot of people enjoyed them. So I stopped. But if you guys want me to start bringing them back, let me know because I do have like one or two um, Dollar Tree DIYs that I plan on doing soon. So if you guys would like me to bring them back to my channel, just let me know and I will try to film one soon and then get it up for you guys. I just don't know if you guys really enjoy it. I feel like more of like my hauls and like cleaning videos is what gets the most attention. So that's what I've been trying to focus on. But if you enjoy the DIYs, I'll definitely bring them back. But anyways, I am gonna clean this up and then I'll see you guys in a little. Maddie, what are you doing out here? You can wear those. So you have on the race. What? No, no. What are you doing? Really? This is what happens when daddy's alone with the kid. No, you're going to put Madison in there? Babe, no, do not put her in there. Is that it? Attack. How did Ryan win? Did he win or Maddie win? Maddie, do you like that? See what happens when I leave Ryan alone with the kids for like five minutes. I was upstairs finishing up filming and he was like, I need your help with something outside. And he put the kids in these little trucks and is pushing them down the hill. Apparently, Madison likes it though. You like it? You're not putting me in there. There you go. How do you get it out there? You like that? You're going to keep her seat though. She's going to go slow though. Keep your feet up, Ryan. <laughs> Please. Bye. They're going to flip forward. Oh my God. All right, guys. So it is currently around 9 o'clock. It is the end of the night. The kids are in bed. They are both sleeping. 
and I'm just now getting dinner in the oven for me and Robert. The kids obviously already ate dinner, but our dinner is in the oven right now. And now I am about to jump in the shower so I can put on some comfy pajamas and just relax for the rest of the night. I think we're gonna try to write a movie and just eat dinner and probably watch a movie if we can find something. So I just want to close out this vlog and say thank you so much for watching today's Day in the Life. If you made it this far, then thank you very much. I appreciate when you guys watch all my videos all the way through. So thank you so much if you made it this far. If you did make it this far, then leave a purple heart um, emoji down below so that I know that you guys um, made it this far. So thanks so much for watching. If you have not already, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family and also turn on your notification bell so anytime I do upload any new videos, you'll be notified that I have uploaded. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.